Welcome to the Core Report. I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Filipovich. And I'm Lance Corporal Ali Beiswinger. Most Americans remember the devastating attacks on 9-11. The Navy is commissioning the last of three ships to remember the lives of those lost. The USS Somerset honors Somerset County, Pennsylvania, the crash site for United Flight 93. This is actually the Navy's newest amphibious ship that will be used by Marines for operations across the Pacific. The Somerset's Marines and sailors are honored to represent the passengers and crew members of Flight 93 and are dedicating to making it the best ship afloat. There will be a live broadcast of the event on Navy.mil and you can follow us on Twitter to stay updated throughout the ceremony. After 9-11, Marines have been fighting and putting their lives on the line to defend America's freedom. While deployed to Afghanistan, this week's featured Marine was patrolling in an MRAP when his vehicle was hit by an RPG. Lance Corporal Alex Yedis and his Marines sustained multiple injuries, but lived to fight another day. Him only getting my thumb, my middle, my index finger off my body is a big screw you to him. So I won. Commandant of the Marine Corps, General James Amos, awarded Yedis the Purple Heart and reminded him that it will be the most important thing he will wear in his uniform. So to have the Purple Heart pinned on my chest is an honor and a privilege because it, that means I'm alive. Despite his injuries, he just keeps a positive attitude and is ready to take on the challenges to come. Stay tuned for updates on his road to recovery. Well, it's that time of year again. Sunday, March 9th marks the beginning of daylight savings and everyone will be setting their clocks forward one hour. Along with the time change, Marines will be switching over to desert Marpat uniforms and service Charlies. So dust off those camis, iron those shirts. And roll up those sleeves. That's right, rolled sleeves are officially back to the Marine Corps. The Commandant released the information February 25th as part of the reawakening campaign. So sun's out, guns out. Sun's out, guns out. You're right. Many of you may be wondering what the reawakening campaign is all about. Well, General Amos recently took your questions about the reawakening on the Corps' social media sites. Our Marines sat down with him to get the top answers to your questions. Levingston Hodges asks, why push a campaign when the problems it deals with maybe deals with only 2% of the Marines messing up? There are people that are judging our institution. They're judging the other 98% of the Marine Corps uh, by the behavior of 2%. So what we want to do is we want to, we want to change the behavior of the 2%, and we can do that. We can do that, and I'm not talking punitively, I'm talking about just NCO leadership. The full interview will be released on Tuesday, March 4th, so stay tuned for answers to your questions. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Those links are in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next payday. Right here on the Corps Report.